Hey, it's me, Fury, and welcome to Let's Try Nine Realms Revolt. First of all, a huge thanks to Anna Plus for the Steam key and allowing me to play the game early. Um, Wanna Plus also developed Deliverance and Rain, and I did a Let's Try on that game in April, which feels like it was eternity away, but I remember the game, it was pretty much fun, I really loved it. So, um, the planned release date for this game is on October 16th, so it's just in 10 days, but there is a free demo available on Steam right now, so if you want to check it out yourself, if you want to give it a go, you can go download the demo and try it. So the game, it's inspired by Norse mythology. It's a story-driven deck building adventure, but it also mixes in dice mechanics. And it's really, really interesting. I did the tutorial just to, you know, test things out. Um, I also realized I was playing horribly low resolution. So um, I did the tutorial and then started recording this with a little bit better <laughs> resolution so um other than this this is a blind blind um run let's get on with it though so i'm gonna start a new game i'm gonna do the uh tutorial again because this game is fairly complex so i want you to see what happens and I kind of want to see myself what happens because I'm still a bit confused <laughs> takes a while to understand um, the first winter chills spread rapidly throughout Alfheim enveloping the lands with frozen creep despite the approaching cold Fjolnir a l young light elf left early in the morning to hunt leather for the refugees a faction of Ragnarok survivors led by Frey his adoptive mother as he sneaked through the trees, he spotted a pack of wolves, and his ranger training kicked in. Okay, now deep breaths. Hold it. Shoot. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. So this is where the magic happens. <laughs> um, funny that I say that. It's kind of like um, it's like Magic the Gathering, sort of. I don't know if it's even more complex with the dice thingy um so we're trying to destroy these banners and they're trying to destroy our banners and there are these lanes we are in our lane moisturized and happy um but you can switch from lane to lane just like Cardi to be um this kind of reminds me of quint a tiny bit but it's nothing like quint so to turn is divided in two phases, the main phase and the attack phase. And during the main phase, you can play cards and move creatures be between the lanes. And then during the attack phase, you choose um, what you do, like action, like actually attacking. So this is like preparatory and then the action. And this is the throw pile. Here is discard pile. And this is my hand. Here is the mana, here is the uh, cost of the cards, it just explained it, I very quickly skipped that. And the mana increases by 1 up to 10 every turn, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, cards cost mana to play, oh, it, it explains it right here, actually now. Um, so, we put this in the middle lane, and this one is health. This one is attack. Okay, this one I need to remember. Red means health, yellow means attack, right? Your creature's health is restored at the start of your turn. And um, this means how much you deal damage when you attack someone. So my mana is zero and this one costs two. I can't use it, so we end main phase. We are set. On the first turn of each battle, the attack phase is skipped to allow both players, obviously, to place stuff on the table. Otherwise, we would just have free roam on their freaking banners. It would be too easy. So this is where it starts to get sweet. So um, we place these fairies on their respective lanes. I just you can pick, put them anywhere. And now I finish the preparatory thingy and now we do the attack thing and um, your creatures can attack 
any of the banners um, regardless of which lane they are in. But after attacking, they become tapped and will not be able to block on your opponent's turn. So if you attack, you cannot block. And that's, I was like, when I was playing this tutorial, I was actually having my lunch at the same time. So I wasn't really paying that much attention. I was like, what does a uh, tap mean? Like, what does that mean? Um, I don't understand. And um, the last battle I didn't do very well. I got defeated at first because I did not understand everything. So we attacked this banner. Uh, but we don't attack the banner because there is a little bit of resistance on the way. So each banner has a die that will automatically protect it from attacks as well. So these are kind of like walls to your city. There are walls, they are there. You gotta break through the dice first, and then you gotta break through the defenses, and then you get to the sweet center. So somebody tell Lil Kim it takes three leaks um, to get to the center. Sometimes it takes even more than three, you know. Three is like, in this case. Sometimes it doesn't take three, man. Don't say anything to Lil Kim, I don't know. Um, Banner is attack and no blocker is chosen, the die will block and take damage equal to the attacker's attack. Once it is reduced to zero, it is removed, but they are replaced at the start of your turn. And they are rolled. So now, this one has two health and this one has two attacks. So I'm trying to get to the banner. Creatures will always try to attack the banner. Your opponent can use an untapped creature in that lane to block it. If a creature blocks, each creature suffers damage equal to their opponent's attack. This sounds so complex, so much more complex than it really is. Um, give it a go. Try the tutorial. It's not really that complex. I'm starting to understand this and you know how I am. I have sometimes real hard time figuring things out. Creatures will restore to full HP at the end of each turn. Once a creature attacks, it is tapped and won't be able to block. So when they're kind of sideways like this, they're too tired to do anything. So if somebody is attacking, um, this is going to block. And after that, it's free go on my banner. So they're not doing anything anymore. Lazy. <laughs> So now there is no defenders and I have one more card to use. So we're just going to attack and we got our first victory. That was sweet. It was easier than expected. Second time, I gotta say, yeah, finally figuring things out. <laughs> Thanks to your sacrifice, my people will be protected this winter. This makes me think of um, Dragon Age Inquisition where you gotta go get the pelts for the... Um, in the first area for the villagers because they're gonna be freezing thank you you're welcome so now we are learning about traps ecstatic with his hunt fjolnir packed the letter for transport and started back to his village hold on i gotta cough <coughs> i will cough again in half an hour <laughs> i'm sorry my throat is super dry just hold on a sec I'm sorry, this is a little bit over all over the place, but I feel very hyper, probably because I ate food and my throat is pretty dry, so I'm probably coughing a lot. Um, started back to his village humming a song his mother used to sing him to sleep. What? Ooh, that's dangerous. Once he reached the edge of the wood, small warm snowflake hit him on the face. Pausing, Fjolner looked to the sky. He froze. It was ash that rained down to him, not snow. Schindler's list, anyone? Before he could wheel his legs to move, however, a group of hooded masked people dropped from the trees to surround him. You will come with us, elf. Um, I don't think so. Who are you? What's going on? Now. Now. I don't think so. All right. We got some stuff going on here. So the battle is already in progress. During your turn, you can play and move creatures to any free slots in the lanes. Creatures can attack banners from any lane, but can only block for the banner in their lane. So 
you can I can attack from here all the way here, but if this one attacks uh, this middle one, I cannot pluck it from here. I have to be in the middle. So play two two pry fairies in the right lane. This is right, 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 right. So we are placing these girls here, and now we can move this one to the middle lane which is like this is only banner that we actually have kind of functioning sometimes you will want to go on the offensive you can itch your die to one of your creatures giving a plus plus for your turn at the start of your next turn die will be re-rolled to its respective lane this was something like i didn't quite understand like what on earth is going on why is the enemy putting all the dies on the cars like what's what's going on because i was eating my lens i was not reading the tutorials um it's your middle creature with your left die this is zero banner so no sense using this one i'm, I'm explaining this to myself right now because <laughs> i'm starting to figure this out this one oh my gosh this one can be attacked so i better keep the walls up right um also the this one will protect these two even though there is no banner but this is completely empty so i can just use it on my card and now you can see it's gone up to uh five and six and that's how it works this this is this is ingenious honestly this is freaking ingenious and i'm not saying that because i got the key i freaking love this game creatures can attack any banner but they can only block attacks against banner in their lane so yeah um creatures will always deal one damage to the banner when they attack the banner when they get there um when banner is damaged it is called a rally and the owner of the banner will draw a card some cards have rally effects to force them to be drawn an active I've been drawn this way. Um, I was wondering like how on earth can I draw cards? Because um, this isn't like Slate Aspire, you draw five cards in the beginning of your turn. No. Mm -mm. Destroy middle banner with your right creatures. So fairies get to work. Now they cannot block here, but they don't need to because it's zero cost. Well, zero points health the banner. Uh, since the enemy is targeting your middle banner and your creature here is untapped, you can use it to block. Untapped creatures can block out as many times as they can, so think about when to block a creature. Block an enemy attack by tracking your creature to it. That's how we do it. Uh, my creature survived it, and now we can block again. So this was a part I was missing completely. Oh, I got hit. Um, well, I was eating my lunch. My banner was damaged, so I did get another card. Uh, now it's your turn and your opponent used all the creatures to attack. Play more creatures and finish them off. Sun Basking Wolf and Bright Fairy. You gotta pay attention, like how much energy do you have? Because so many times I I just didn't pay attention and I might have wanted to buy like three cards, but I got only one because I didn't check the cost. So this is going to block for one. These guys are out of the out of the system let me let me let me oh i gotta attack all the way up and then we keep on attacking i'm gonna attack one more time and that's how we win easy ha ha what was that forget the leather i need to go back right now ash smoke flames engulf the refugees village and seized it to the crown fjolnir's heart ached ache, ache, ached ached at the side by his mother's cold dead body brought him to his knees oh no oh <laughs> no his eyes burned and a scream tore out of his throat as he clutched his mother's broken corpse to his chest no mom lost in the torturous pain the young elf did not hear 
the powerful footsteps behind his back. This is devastation. Let's see what happens. Um, if I had a less so early, I could have stopped this. I could have, yeah, 20, 20 hindsight. Rawr. <laughs> Just love it. Yikes. Rawr. So you did this. Are you sure? Maybe he just happened to walk by. <laughs> what are we learning this time? Oh, about spells, probably? Some creatures have special effects that can be triggered by meeting certain conditions. Your decadent historian has an on-play effect, meaning that it will trigger when the card is played from hand. So, decadent historian, on-play, choose an enemy die and change its value to one on attack if you are blocked by a die change its value to one pretty useful and this die has five on it so it's pretty hard wall but take a look at that my historian just gave it a lecture and now it's crumbling down it's just one anymore um some cards require you to choose the target others will trigger automatically your other creature is Sand Golem. This creature has a constant effect where it can't be blocked by creatures with one or less attack. We can use this to bypass one of the enemy blockers. Um, I guess it doesn't matter where I pop this one. Lastly, there is also a spell card. These cards have immediate impact on the game, but are discarded after use. Exhausted, discarded, exhausted. Use this to turn the tide of battle and to support your creatures. Unicorn Stampede is a spell with a high mana cost. Five, holy jeez. Um, deals damage to enemy creatures and the die in a lane. We can use this to clear most of the middle banner's defenses. Uh, deal 3 damage to all enemy creatures and die in a lane. Rally. Deal 3 damage to all enemy creatures in the banner's lane. So we just run right through here. Daga da daga daga. My stampede has destroyed the die and killed one of the creatures. Now it's time to attack. Let's go. So now we can use the sun column's effect to ignore the remaining creature because he has... This is like a very healthy boy, but not very strong, even though he has like giant muscles. It has attack of only one, and my sun golem is able to just bypass it, so... Top. It's another victory. Die, 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 die. This sounds like, um, like when I was third grade. <laughs> Boys really loved the word die. Even on Valentine's Day, they wrote in the Valentine's cards die it was hilarious i freaking loved it die all right corrupt the revenge by the way i freaking love the art style as well the music is great but i love the art style it's i don't know it's so pretty beautiful art fjolner knew he could not bury everyone by himself but refused to leave before burying his mother even if he had to use his bare hands as a shovel the whole village didn't have a shovel a single shovel man that's rough um how about you tell your wolf to dig a hole don't wolves like to dig kind of like dogs i don't know which each dig Sadness and despair twisted into hatred. It burned through Fjolnir's veins, threatening to collapse his throat and suffocate him to death. Oh, that sounds rough. That night, Fjolnir made a vow. He'd use the same hands he buried his mother with uh, to murder the fire giant and bring peace to Nine Realms. For that, however, he needed the aid from other five factions who suffered under Revna's iron creep and so with hatred clouding his heart Fjolnir left his ruined village behind he traveled north seeking the sacred cave where Lord Jadi guarded the last remaining portal to Muspelheim Lord Jadi's servants are guarding the entrance I must knock them out time to take a nap there is no other way so there is a lot of banners in the game right now. Uh, do we still get advice? <laughs> I think we do. It's the boss battle that is like the last one. 
last fight of the tutorial where you have to figure it out your own the last type of the card um are the traps each lane has one trap slot it's the round one right here and are triggered when certain conditions are met these can be used to trick your opponent and take control of the field um, our opponent has overwhelming force of creatures let's use this against them so there is a lot of pixies there um, sun flare in the middle lane sun flare is a trap when this banner is attacked prevent the attack until two damage to all enemy minions we place it right here and radiant unicorn on the left lane as a creature so this is a unicorn it's also a trap but you can use it also as just a creature so we place it like this and then in here we place it as a trap there you go as you can see some creatures can be played normally or as a trap to cheat out the mana cost try to use this to your advantage and now we can into your attack base i'm not attacking this two can't attack no we can't attack i guess we're just ending the turn I let them run into the traps, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. They literally dealt damage to all of the minions. So, use what you have learned to finish the battle. Um, I have 10 points. So I have a lot of points. Um... I'm gonna place this one right here. I have six points, couple bulls, and then in main phase, let's see what happens. There is nobody there. It's just empty places. I can I can go for this, and then this one go go for this, and. You can go for this. I mean, this. And then... You can go for this. I can just as well attack this one. Do they get to attack? They do get to attack. Okay. After my turn, even, you know, they, they get to attack. So I have to remember that and not till all my cards. Oh my gosh, they got so tilted. Um, I wonder if I can just get rid of the cards. No, I actually kind of have to literally use them to attack something. So, um, I'm going to toss this guy right here and wait. Did I end the main phase? No, I didn't. I did kind of click, but I misclick, I guess. Doink. And then one last. One last. There was a trap, but somehow it didn't get sprung. Another victory. I'm sorry, my friends. I hope you forgive me when you wake up. Uh, of monsters and men, Fjolnir entered the depths of Sacred Cave using a small gemstone as his only life source. His breath was jagged and his mind fogged, but he gripped his bow with all his might. His people had worshipped Lord Jody ever since Ragnarok's tragedy. He knew that the majestic wolf would see the urgency of his task and led him through the portal. A powerful red light halted his thoughts as it swallowed the surrounding darkness. He soon spotted the molten portal at the center of a round area in the cave. Chadi, the sun chaser, stood in front of it, teeth bared and eyes glowing with yellow stained fury. You dared to hurt my kin in your search for their revenge? Lord Chadi, please, I promise they will be fine. Please let me travel to Maspulheim, my lord. I'll do anything, I'll give up anything. I mean, my mom died, nothing else matters. Just let me through the portal. No, you are not worthy. And I shall defend this portal with my life. Oh, jeez, we, we get to kill our lord first. I don't want to hurt you. Wow. Oh, that's not 
that's not at all like oh that's more like it all right so this is this is tough and the deck is completely randomized in this game you can create your own decks and you can just um i think you can mix there is different factions and different cards and you can you can just kind of mix and match and create your own thing but right now it's just randomized sort of um use everything you have learned so far to overcome jody and begin your journey so let's see if i can actually figure this out i have three points so um i can have bask in the sun Ooh, day nomad choose a five cost or more enemy creature if possible and tap it um Bright Wyvern, end of turn if three or more your creatures attack this turn draw a card that's not a bad one Bright Berry, just a basic thing um in all honesty I don't know what I should be doing. Maybe maybe I put a bright fairy in here and bask in the sun. It got pretty buff. Pretty strong fairy. She's been doing some hot girl stuff going through the gym. So this is this is what I was wondering like what's going on here? So they upgraded the fighter, but now there is no wall here. I could do the same. And this is like, I got no tutorial no more. This actually requires thinking. On attack, if this destroys it, die. Draw a card. Unicorn Stampede. I don't have enough points for this. Uh, choose five cost or more enemy five cost doesn't mean like this number right here i think it does mm. light elf warrior i'm i'm spending like the rest of the day just sitting here trying to figure out what i should be doing i'm gonna place a nomad here and nomad here and I'm trying to figure out like what they can do. I can't really break through anything. I don't want to use the die necessarily on anyone. I could use this one for this and then attack this, but I would only break the wall and get nothing really done. So now I need to figure out if I want to attack something. This one will hit for two, this one will hit for three. These are really, really weak. This one is the only one that can basically attack for the reason that there is enough wall to support that attack. So I'm just gonna go for here and probably just lose. <laughs> they oh, they didn't attack, no? Oh, it's only for defense, what? Um, it's gonna hit for three. Uh, I'm gonna use this. No, I'm gonna wait. No blocker. Why? Why can't the fairy block? I don't know. I gotta. Oh, because it's on the wrong freaking lane. That's why. That's why. Okay, my first banner is gone. I'm, I'm not doing very well. But now I can use Unicorn Stampede. And by the way, I can attack straight there, I think. This shouldn't be blocking anything. But if I use this... No, wait. Unicorn Stampede, I will not be able to play any other cards. And if I use this one to attack this, then... There will be only the wall left and they can pull cars to attack. Mm, but I just kind of feel like doing it. And the main phase. 
Um, I'm gonna go for it. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot that it only actually hits for one. And not the amount of damage that is shown here. My... I am losing this one. Holy cheese. But I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm learning. I am learning. I think I'm going to use this one. On play, untap all friendly creatures at this banner. It's a yellow die. When you when your die is destroyed, untap this creature. Oh, we're using that one right here. I have zero points left. Uh, you're gonna attack this one. So we got one of their things done. And now I think I can attack that one. And then as they try to attack here, it should come back alive and be able to protect my banner a little bit. They have so many freaking attackers though. Oh, defeated once again. Let's try again. See, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's actually very complex. At least for me. Oh my gosh, I get really, really bad numbers here. Three points. Oh my gosh. Ooh. We're gonna have this one. And we're gonna have this one. I don't know when I should place the die on a dude. How does it change the gameplay, whether it's been a wall or whether it's upgrading my dude? Four points. Pixie pollen. When a creature attacks this banner. Um, I'm gonna place it right here. And then I'm gonna place... This one here. And... Actually, I'm upgrading this one. I'm trying to be smart about this. It's not very <laughs> easy. So, um... Both of these actually have very high... How is that possible? Did, did that thing... This one upgrade both of them? Give another random creature plus two and plus two. Ooh, this is so complex. So I feel like it's overkill to use this, but I get a draw. Um, I can't use everybody to attack, though. Ah, oh, man. Um, I don't know if I should attack this one or that one. I think I'm gonna go for this one. And then I'm using this one to attack and that's it where did my dude go where did my dude go i thought he would be left there sitting here defending my banner i was so wrong i guess i didn't read the cards <laughs> um wolf can't have it fry fairy on play, untap all friendly creatures at this banner. Mm -mm -mm. Itch yellow die. Uh, I 
kind of want to use this. Untap all friendly creatures on this banner. I'm going to blaze this one right here. And I'm giving it this one. Because this is zero. It doesn't matter. And now I could attack this one on here. But I kind of want to attack here too. But then again, you know, let's go after the banner. Let's get at least something done. And I'm done. This scares me because there is nobody there to defend it. They didn't attack? Pixie Pollen? Uh, definitely using Pixie Pollen on this. I, I kind of really like those <laughs> traps. When this creature attacks, draw a card. Edge yellow die when this creature attacks. Draw a card. Can't afford it though. Uh, Wolf is very freaking powerful. So I'm going to place it right there just to guard my stuff. And um, I'm gonna. Uh, I should have placed this on this on the. I was too late. I already finished the preparatory thing. I should have placed it on. I should have placed it on that. So I can't really get through anywhere. It's, these dudes, they have really, really strong stuff going on. I'm not very good at this. It's unbelievable that when I wasn't paying any attention, I was eating my food, I actually did beat this last battle with my second try. Right now I'm kind of scared. I'm gonna give this to you, first of all. When this creature attacks, draw a card. Ooh, it has pretty good amount of... Attack. These guys are so freaking strong. Um... At this banner. Too bad. Which one is... This is like... Um, 5, 10, 14. This is 4. Trap. 13. I just... I gotta start fighting. I guess. That's it. It's like they don't even need to do it. They don't even need to attack. They just sit there. Mm. I'm gonna place this one right here. I can't afford that one. So we're placing this one right here. And... um. I guess I place this die and I... And... Uh, this is... Holy jeez. They're very, very strong. I can't attack this. I could attack it. And um, this one... I would have to use this one to attack that one to get rid of the dude. I think I have to keep the other ones. This is rough. This is gonna take forever. Holy jeez, how did I beat the first time? Um, on play, untap all friendly creatures. I'm placing it right there. And I'm giving my wolf a fiver. Choose a creature gets plus two, plus two. You. Sun Golem, if attack is one or less, nobody has one or less. Fairy, Nomad, on play, choose five cost or more cost enemy. And tap it. Get tapped. 
Hehehe. <laughs> All right. So this guy can basically attack. Because he isn't blocking anything. So it's... Oh, but this guy cannot attack. All right. The wolf cannot attack. Oh, they're just defending. They can't attack if the uh, thing is on, on top of it. So now I understand it. It's only defending when there is a die on it. Now I understand something. I think I'm going to attack with this one. And then... I cannot attack with this one either. Nobody... Oh, dude, don't, don't fall for that one. They are so going to be able to attack, but I'm, I'm risking it. They can get my banner here. For sure. But I'm counting everything on my last banner. <laughs> They didn't even attack? I'm surprised. In turn, if three or more your creatures attack this turn, draw a card. I currently I don't have problem with cards. I have a lot of cards. So I'm gonna put this one on the wolf. The wolf isn't attacking. And I'm actually gonna put this one on you. Probably should have attacked with the wolf, then etch the die on this. No way, no. Am I done here? Do I wanna place this one on you, for example? I don't know what I'm doing. I still have a lot of uh points but, like i can't place anything in there anymore so now we attack um this one has four health this one has four plus six that's that's a whole lot of health that was kind of wasted a little bit there you go and um Fairy. Yes. And nobody can attack it. I just... Oh, if I... <laughs> Don't place the die on your folks. You run out of attacks. Man, what the... I, I believe in my chances. I know I can do this. You gotta find the strongest units. Three... It has good health. Um, I'm I I'm getting the vibrant. And um, do I want to block with something? You. Hopefully I didn't use too much. I should have... This requires mathematic skill. Not necessarily my biggest strength. Yo! We got it. We got the banner. Holy jeez. One more to go. I still have two banners. It attacked, it had the dice on it, but it attacked, so maybe you can attack with that way? Maybe I misclicked something and it didn't work. Mm, I think the wolf, because it's like the strongest unit. And who is my strongest attack? Four, four, five. Uh, 
I don't know if I dare to place the dice on this one because, you know, I'm not sure if I can attack that way. So... Oh, you blocked! I think there is a trap or something that prevents me from attacking. No? Wait a minute, did I misclick or... Oh, it doesn't even give me the attack thing. This, this cannot attack. We can't create the... But this one can attack. Interesting. But we got a victory. Holy cheese, that took like half an hour. At some point it started to look pretty green, but then I figured something out and I got the victory. So this is... These cards have been added, added to your collection. I'm sorry, I don't know how to speak. So, um, just like him. And now we go to Muscle Hunt. This is the area. Here, uh, cross seven exit. I want to see. Choose a card to add to your deck. Uh, fire giant hammer. On attack, if this hits a banner, it deals one additional damage. That seems pretty nice. Fire troll catcher. When this creature attacks, tap a random blue enemy. Blue enemy? Is that like Slade Aspire? The cards have different colors. This one is red. Yo, of course they have factions. There is different factions in this game. Like in Slade Aspire, there is Iron Clan, Silent, Defect, Watcher. Same thing here. You got different factions. Fire Ancient. Tap blue enemy creature. I think I want this one. I can choose another one. Um, this is like gray, orange, and red. So on play, destroy another creature. Summon up to two random creatures that cost two or less from your discard pile in a random friendly lanes. Ooh, this is this is like a swamp build, <laughs> necromancer or something. Miss Chibis Pixie, all-time favorite. Dwarven catapult. Uh, deal 4 damage to the lowest health enemy creature, then discard this card. I'm taking that one. Um, oh, I have like fire. I really like the wolf. It's pretty powerful. This was pretty nice, but a whole lot of cards are not that expensive. Overflow. Trap. When a creature attacks this banner, give all your creatures plus 5 and plus 0 for the rest of the turn. That could be really nice. Uh, but I'm taking the wolf. So this is like sun. Undead giant on play. Choose a creature that costs four or less and destroy it. Who dangerous. Bask in the sun. This was really nice. Very cheap too. Uneasy um, truce. Each player discards their hand and draw a card for each card they discarded. This is really nice. You can you can have really good things with this one, but I'm taking the bask in the sun, so I know how to use it. <laughs> I've seen it before. Unicorn Stampede, very expensive, but man, it was pretty good. It's red die. Also, the dice have different freaking colors. This creature gets plus one, plus um, plus two, plus one. Another catapult. I'm taking Stampy because I got catapult already. Ballista. Summon this creature if possible. Firestorm. Shaman. On play, give all your creatures that cost three or less plus one and plus zero. Um. On death, return this creature to your hand. This seems nice. I'm taking it. So now I have one of the death thingies as well. Sunkeeper, this creature cannot block. This creature's attack must be blocked if possible. It's like attacker. I'm taking it. I didn't check what was like the third option. <laughs> um, Undead Giant, now we can take it because I already went with a gray color. Prowler, it's red die. This creature gets 
something something i think under giant extremely expensive also i'm just picking up cards like totally random i'm not thinking about the cost or what's more like how many copies of something i should have uh-uh i'm just picking stuff completely random this is insanely powerful deal x damage to all enemy creatures in this lane where x is the number of red creatures in your control you control what does that mean is it like in my hand or on my uh table i think it's probably on the table um this could be really good it's not even that expensive choose an enemy creature to die and deal three damage to it enemy creature or die <laughs> this seems pretty nice as well more expensive though this one has nice health i'm picking that one uh dark elf is scored deal x damage to another creature x is number of black creatures in the play i don't have so many black creatures uh dark elf fighter very basic fighter card rain of fire destroy a friendly creature deal x damage to all creatures where x is equal to the attack of the destroyed creature note deal damage to all creatures that must mean it deals damage to also my own creatures um i'm picking no wait i'm picking this one it's on blade also attacks like normally this is the historian chooses um uh the die value to one it was pretty good i just got a message i saw my cell phone blinking i'm not late yet i'm not late yet. i don't want to stop late man oh i have a little bit more time i want to i want to keep on going um i'm taking the history man on uh, suchi of the beginning whenever you summon a red creature deal two damage to a random enemy die whenever you summon a red creature these are getting pretty <laughs> complex um fray keeper of the day Edge any die give all other friendly creatures without an edge plus plus yellow die on death on top all uh friendly creatures without an edge on this turn very very expensive what about neox keeper of hell uh lethal strike on attack discard a random card in your hand each black die whenever you discard a card destroy another random creature ah oh, man these are both real good i kind of want to pick this one but i really want to pick this one because it has a bird in it see it's kind of like how how does a woman choose which car she wants by the color <laughs> um talk elf friend on attack if this creature destroys a die draw a card and untap this creature this can only occur once turn so you can even have like two attacks insanely expensive or jotty the sun chaser we got our own doggo if we want to this creature costs one less for each creature in your hand oh i got this one on the uh when i was having my lunch and i played the tutorial this was that allowed me to beat the boss battle the last tutorial fight very fast uh when you edge yellow down this and it attacks it deals one damage to everyone of the enemies and Belish, son of belafor on play, choose an enemy die and destroy it, deal 5 damage to random enemy creature. Holy jeez, these are so crazy good. Double. You can you can get this one almost for free. I'm taking Bellish. Sun Flare, it's a trap. When a friendly creature at this banner is destroyed, if you have less creatures than your opponent, destroy a random enemy creature. That seems pretty good, but also sort of risky. I'm taking it. Basic Live Warrior. Um, fire Troll Catcher. Tap random when this creature tap a random blue enemy creature. So there is also this, um, just like in Magic the Gathering 
um, and kind of like it, it's a it's a classic thing. So uh, water beats fire. That's about like how far I get. Fire beats earth. What is the last element? Fire, earth, water, and wind. Right? Wind beats earth. I don't know, but anyway, you know, if, if the enemy has blue things, this one just pops them out. If they don't, nothing happens. Um, light elf songstress. When this creature destroys a creature in battle, draw a card. Untap this creature when you draw um, each yellow die. When you draw a card, untap this creature. My cards are very expensive. I'm not very, very happy about that. Um, Ballista on play. Um, summon this creature if possible. What what does that mean? I'm taking it anyway. Let's let's go. Draw a card when when it dies. Very 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 cheap. Or a dwarven guard. This is a regular. Um, I'm gonna have the draw gear. It allows me to draw. Dwarven Crusher. Sure. Favorite friend. On death, this banner cannot be attacked this turn. Yes, please. <laughs> Yorm. Watcher of Hell. Oh, it's a wolfy boy. On death, when this creature dies, destroy all creatures in this lane. All creatures in this lane. It's very expensive. Um, I'm taking Frey because I wanted Frey, but then I chose the bird instead. So I can have Jati. Krun does the bay mode. On play, change the value of one of your die to six. Deal six damage to a random enemy minion. Um, destroy random enemy die. I'm taking Jotty. Man, I just want a Jotty. Elf, Spearmaster. This was pretty good. Songkeeper, cannot block. Did I pick this one already? I think I did. This is a lot of cards. Um, Ashen Broodmother. Trap. When a friendly creature at this banner is destroyed, summon this creature at this banner if possible. And deal two damage to all creatures. Hacking, yeah. Um, Dark Elf Guard, Magma Worm. Holy jeez, that's like <sighs> dramas from Elden Ring. Oh, the times I tried to get, kill the Magma Worm to get the Magma Sword or whatever. I don't remember what it, it was a katana of some sort there. Really, really good katana. And in the end, I cheated. I just shot it through the freaking fog wall because I couldn't beat it. I was very low level at the time. Um, I'm taking the Guardian. Very friend. Cannot be attacked. This one seems really nice. So we got Giant Archer. Deal X damage to all enemy creatures in this lane where X is number of red creatures you control. I think I have this one maybe. Scout, choose an enemy die and deal one damage to it. I'm taking the fairy friend. Um, I would love to get like something kind of cheap because everything costs million energy. I am halfway through this. This is gonna take a while. This is gonna be another hour me just picking cards. <laughs> uh, Burge, Jar of Hell. By the way, I'm sorry if I completely mispronounced this. Probably, probably so. Birge. <laughs> If this attack destroys a creature, destroy another random enemy creature of that color. Sure, I'm gonna take it. It's extremely expensive. Um, talk Elfrin. Uh, if this creature destroys a die, draw a card on top this creature. Um, Suchi of the beginning. Whenever you summon a red creature, deal two damage to a random enemy die. I'm, I'm just beginning. Um, uh, uneasy, uneasy. I don't know why I constantly read it as strike, but it's truth. It's 
seems kind of interesting. Each player discards their hand and draws a card for each card they discarded. Yellow died, then you draw a card. Green die, keep your leftmost card in your hand instead of... I'm picking it. It's so weird. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. On play, deal X damage to another creature where X is number of black creatures in play. Hell elemental. On play, choose a yellow or green creature and destroy it. Trap. When a friendly creature is destroyed, your opponent's turn summon this creature in the lane if possible. Seems great. Insanely freaking expensive. Dark Elf Observer. On play, destroy another creature. Summon up to two random creatures that cost... I'm taking that one. Um... Uh... Mm. Did I ever take the dog boy? I'm taking the dog boy this time. Um, misplay step trap after creature attacks this banner destroyed. What? Which one? Banner or the creature? <laughs> I think the creature. But yo, after a creature attacks this banner? Um, I want a sunflower. That was a really good one. This is not as useful. I don't know, maybe it is... Depends like what kind of a thing you're going against, but... In the previous fight, not a whole lot of creatures had just one attack. Um, <clears throat> I'm taking Dar Dwarven Guard. Current of the Behemoth. I'm picking that one. Now, now it's, it's a lot of um, same cards. I don't have like a lot of basic cards in my... Thing. Uh, also, the deck, I think it's 40 cards. On death, if this died to a creature and it is still alive, reduce its attack to zero. I'm taking the elusive pixie. Mm, immune, immune blue. It's funny, like blue is water and red is fire. Red is fire. And he's immune to gain bypass this turn? What does bypass mean? Um, Enslaver attack deal one, two damage to random enemy creature. That's, that's like two and two. Bypass edge yellow die when this creature attacks. Draw a card. Holy cheese. This seems actually really good. Um, I'm taking basic elf, uh, fairy, I mean. I'm the Vyvern, very strong sort of basic card. On play, untap all friendly creatures at this banner. When your die is destroyed, untap this. I'm taking him. <laughs> I don't know what I'm picking up. This is gonna be so messed up. Um, your opponent discards two random cards from their hand let's take a troll wordsman uh troll card uh extra extra um troll could be really good if this is attacking a die gain two attack tame wyvern draw a card for every two yellow creatures you control i'm taking the one cost also is, is this is the cost of cards like i have 11 three cost cards five of four seven of five cost three of oh my god they're drilling holy jeez it's never ending the curse is gone back mm. I'm sorry, it's just so annoying. Um Light Elf Blade Singer. I'm taking that one. So that's my deck. Um Am I using it right now? Because I don't know if I wanna be using it right now. <laughs> it's a mess. 
I think, yeah, I'm using it. <laughs> this is your starting hand. Choose cards you wish to discard. Um... Maybe these ones. So now these are the die. Dice are different color. So there is extra difficulty, the extra complexity to this whole thing. Um. Oh my gosh! I have. The worst things. I can't afford anything else. Um, sun flare. When a uh, brindly creature at this banner is destroyed, if you have less creatures in than your opponent, destroy a random creature. I'm so sorry about the drilling. It's it's so annoying, it's driving me crazy. You know it is. Um I'm placing this one right no wait, right here. I cannot place it there. What do, what does it say? Not enough mana? Oh it's three! I thought it was two. Holy jeez, stop! Stop with the drilling! Um I'm gonna just drop this one. And then I could attack. How does it... Oh! I was like, how does it decide which one it attacks? But of course, it's the defender that actually decides it. I'm not doing very well. Hmm. Dark Elf Escort. On play, deal X damage. Black cards in the play. I, I can't afford... Discards two random cards from their hand. Um, on the giant, choose a creature that costs four or less and destroy it. This creature cannot block. Um, I think I'm taking on the giant. Maybe place it right here. We destroying that one, and then that's it. Um, I might regret this deeply, <laughs> but at least I got like I got one attack. One attack! Holy cheats! They got a lot of cards going. No, my banners. Give me something cheap. Really? You know what? Um, I think I really have to take time and think. Like, not right now, but um, really just create a smart deck. Because uh, right now this doesn't feel necessarily very smart. Maybe it feels a little bit smart. Uh, DLX damage... Uh, um, I can use that one or the Sunkeeper. This one cannot block. So I'm gonna use the Archer. And I'm not dealing damage to anyone with this. Because, dude, uh, I don't control any red cards. So... I'm attacking here. And... um. I could... It's red die, deal 2 damage to random enemy. Enemy? There is no enemies. I, I want to attack a die. I think I'm just gonna sit here. This is so much fun. This is so complex. This is kind of slow. But you really, really need to think about things. And I kind of like 
I'm gonna place that one on that. I don't even know why. And, um... I'm placing this one here. And we kind of get rid of that one. Um... Unfortunately... I don't have energy for the trap. So... This is a lot of luck. This one I could maybe take care of. Um, I'm gonna use this one to... No, don't do it. These guys have like the most defense here. Can, I, can you not? Radiant Unicorn. Kind of risk a little bit here. This might be a little bit too much of a risk. Maybe I should be using, you know, etching the die a whole lot more often. Ooh, I have I have energy to use this if I want to. If this attack creature <laughs> destroys a creature, destroy another random creature of that color. So if I destroyed this one, it would destroy this one. I'm placing it right here. And that's all I can do right now. And so let's see. I should have used the dice. Oh, but they choose. I can't attack an enemy. I can only attack the banner. And they choose who defends. And now they chose another one. This isn't going very well, but I'm learning all the time. I'm figuring, like, um, through my mistakes, what I should be doing differently. Also, I don't think my deck is very good. <laughs> it's just... I picked up random stuff. Um, this isn't good for me right now. Uh, red creatures. I don't have red creatures. Edge any die, give other friendly creatures without an edge, edge yellow die. I'm gonna place this one right here, and then I'm etching this die on it. I should have placed some creatures probably first before doing that. And um, we use this one here. Something happened. I'm etching you with this one. And that's it. It's actually nice to lose one of the banners. I get one of the die to uh, sort of use freely. Mm. I'm gonna attack with this one in here. Can I attack with this one? I can't. I'm scared. It's kind of also what makes it super challenging is that you don't know which cards the enemy is going to draw. And so you don't know what it's going to be doing because this isn't what it's going to be doing next draw. Just like right now I can place more cards. Um... This is very expensive, but if I place it right here and it dies, it's actually really good. But if I place it, I can only place Sunkeeper. Hmm.
then again i can't really like i can play those are my options i'm gonna place this one right here and song keeper you go here and um itch yellow die let's do it and then you on death when this creature etch a black die when this creature deals damage to a banner destroy a random friendly creature and a random enemy i'm gonna place the die right there just to make it stronger but wait a minute i could attack that one in the main phase ah i didn't really think it through <laughs> I should have attacked with the first. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were very much made. I'm defeated. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm gonna try again. I really need to create better deck. This is not very good. I just chose completely crazy random stuff. Mm. Yeah. So. I'm placing this one right here. That's all I can do right now. Oh my gosh, even like very poor cards become really good. And you know what you're doing. So obviously I'm using this one. And I am dealing one or two. Two. And then bask in it. Sun. Ah, oh, they are trilling again. I'm sorry about that. Um. Placing this one here. Placing this one here, I guess. I'm so sorry about the trilling. That wasn't smart. I just realized I can't attack because I placed the dice on these guys. And I would take my walls with me. So it wasn't that smart. Sunflare. Um, if you have less creatures than your opponent, I'm gonna place it right here. And tree, I have a tree. Kind of block. I'm gonna place it there. And then I didn't etch any dice. This time I didn't even freaking think it. This one annoying. I can't attack. Well, you can't attack if I use this one. And then I can attack the banner. I can attack the banner! And that's it. This isn't even defending. Oh, there goes my dude. <laughs> Dwarven Ballista. Summon this creature if possible. When rallying. Um. Dwarven Crusher, Suchi of the beginning. Whenever you summon a red creature, deal two damage to a random enemy die. Um, I can't use it because I have only six energy. On death, return this creature to your hand. Um, Dwarven Crusher. And... Um, Preach Garden. Maybe I should have placed it there. And that's it. 
this has like the most block on its own so i'm gonna use this creature to attack the banner we got one out one of them out they're both tilted though why is this tilted i don't understand <laughs> so much i don't always understand so this is just a regular smeggler fairy i'm gonna place it right there and I have five points. I can only play one card, which is Suchi or Ballista. And Ballista deals just one damage, has four health. Suchi. I'm gonna place it right here. And I'm placing this die on it. And, um,. This one has 8 health. Holy jeez. Um, I'm gonna try attacking this one. I killed myself and got nothing achieved. <laughs> Great. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I really, really need to get better cards. This dog is a horrible mistake chance is a sun catcher for energy i can have it and one of these or just both of these so i think i'm having ja chi i'm placing it here and then preach guardian we place it here I'm blazing this down on it. I don't know if, like when is it smart. I feel like I just have to sit. Sit still not do anything. Ooh. ooh. <laughs> There goes my banners. Each yellow die when creature attacks, deal one damage to all enemy creatures. Um, I'm doing it. And then I have nine points, so I can use Yorm. Or I could just have both of these. Ash and Brew Mother trap. When a friendly creature of this banner is destroyed. Um, we place it there. We place this guy right here. Like I say, my cards are way too expensive. I can't use them. Um, I can't really achieve that much in here. But I think I'm gonna still keep going for this one. Holy! That was something. <laughs> My banner is completely without anything to keep it safe. They didn't even want to attack it. Um, Lights, Elf, Song, Stress. Draw a card. Etch a yellow die when you draw a card. Untap this creature. I'm gonna place it here and I'm tapping it and then preach guard i guess you go here in the face again they just managed to guard everything really well everything is like extremely high i need to figure this out man they are always placing the dice. So I think that's what I should be doing. Oh no, I have just one point left. Preach Garden Yorm. What what was what your thing? When you draw this card on tap when you draw a card on tap this creature. Oh, yeah. 
I should attack with it and then I should know that something dies. I, I just I don't have brains enough for that. I'm taking Yorm though. Um Blade the Yorm here. And then I can get the Preach Guardian or the wolf. Um I'm taking the Breach Guardian. Let's let's go a little bongers here and just placing this one on you. And the main face. So this dude has eight. This one has six. I'm going for this one. Why couldn't I use the bridge guardian? Who killed him? Oh, I could have attacked with that one. Holy jeez, there was a free banner there. Mistakes were made. This is why we can't have nice things. I'm so dead. Defeated. We're done. Alright. Um, I'm gonna hit this one right here. I'm just um save and exit. Uh I gotta I gotta go take care of some stuff. But I'm I'm gonna continue playing this. So next time, hopefully, um before I start next time, I'm gonna draft a new pack of cards. And I try to be a little bit smarter about it. I try to be, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm smarter about it, but I try to be smarter, smarter about it. And um, I also let this thing to simmer a little bit in the old noggin in my brain so that maybe I figure out some sort of like when I should be using the dice. Probably like all the time, I don't know. All the time, unless... Not all the time, like if I attack and it has the dice, then I have no wall left. You know, I just, it, it gotta be, you know, working in the brain a little bit. So I'll continue this. Um, anyway, if you want to give it a try yourself, if you want to see, you know, if you do better than me, <laughs> can you figure it out? Uh, go check out the demo on Steam and it comes out October 16th. The whole game, the demo is there right now. The whole game is plan to release on October 16th so 10 days go give it a try and see how well you can do it so um, I hope you enjoyed this one and um, I'll see you next time bye